Hello YouTube, it's your girl Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. This video is going to be a review of ELF's Instant Lift Brow Pencil Crown. I love this thing, but I want to tell you guys why and talk about how I even tried it <laughs> and why I got it. But before we get into the video, thank you so much for coming to my channel. I truly appreciate it. Please subscribe to the channel. It is a free and easy way to support the work that I have going on here. Um, we make videos about beauty, hair, skincare, nails, all different kinds of products, travel, tech. We want you to be a part of our crew over here, so make sure you subscribe. That way you won't miss out on anything. Hit the notification bell if you want to be first to know when I post a new video or when I go live. And if you like this video, like the video. So I definitely have been increasing my drugstore reviews because I heard you guys but um if there are any other products that you think I would love to hear you test out or try about or I might even already have a video on it and I could just share the link with you jump in the comment section below and let me know okay so this is the ELF instant lift brow pencil in the shade Ooh, where's the shade okay this is the darkest brown shade oh here we go deep brown is the shade so this is what it looks like the outside packaging so this is just like a little spoolie brush I am wearing it now so as you can see you can still see like the individual little hairs in there it looks like I took time and drew little strokes but I definitely didn't and then this is the applicator so it's a twist top and the twist it comes out like this it's a round edge it's not an angle it's perfectly circular circular and it has a flat rectangle tip when you first get it, but as you use it, it rounds off and it becomes like a dome tip. Okay. So, it's funny. This is not new. This is just, she's not new to this. She's true to this, okay? I, for some reason, okay, I guess this was old, 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 old ELF in person having stores years ago. And, like, version 1.0 ELF a lot of their brow pencils eye pencils lip pencils didn't have enough pigment to be visible and look really good on deep and dark skin tones so at that time it was very well known you know you want to stick to your Maybellines and your L'Oreal's and the the rivers and the creeks that you're used to because this ELF brand is not really showing up on us like it should now we're at elf 10.0 at this point elf has changed and evolved and really become a dynamic full-fledged drugstore brand she's winning like she's giving competition first she's on the podium with the gold on her neck looking down at l'oreal and maybelline it was like i have arrived elf is first place drugstore right now in my opinion nyx maybe is like the only contender with her but ELF still having more drops so because of that past version of ELF I was always under the impression that the new ELF stuff might not work either but something told me you know what Kimberly it's been years that was literally 2012 2013 around that time maybe even earlier maybe 2010 when I had that thought of this doesn't have this brand doesn't have enough pigment. So I'm like, it's been almost 10 years. Give the eyebrow pencil a try. I noticed that the eyebrow pencils in Ulta, this is specifically Ulta shopping. For some reason, the eyebrow pencils were not stocked in the ELF aisle. But there was a specific eyebrow end cap. And it had the full range of all the colors and it was completely stocked with the eyebrow pencil so almost like they took it out the elf section and they put it in this eyebrow wall okay whatever this is confusing to people looking for elf i went to the elf trying to find elf but whatever i'm here now i found it i got it 
went straight down to the darkest shade because I have dark hair, dark eyes, so I prefer to have dark brows. Um, and I was shocked and amazed. And then shocked again and amazed. And then I thought it was a fluke. Maybe the first two times I used it just because it's new. It looks so good, but then I'm like, no. That looks like a real eyebrow almost. <sighs> and I loved it. So then I was like, okay, well, the days that I wore it, the first two days I tried it, I didn't do anything special. I wasn't outside for a long amount of time. So I'm like, I need to go outside. I want to sweat. I want to walk. I want to shop. I want to have a full day of all the activities that I normally do. Then we'll see. Then we'll see if she lasts. And you know what she did? She lasted. She didn't move, she didn't change color, she didn't oxidize, she stayed exactly where I put her and looked beautiful all day. I also got the most eyebrow compliments that I got in a long time. So of course, I'm going to put the specific price of this pencil in the description below, but I'm 90% sure it's $4. 90% sure that is $4. Again, I have the darkest shade, which is deep brown. The darkest shade that was available at Ulta. I'm going to check the website and I'll in the description box below if there are darker shades. Because I feel like they got to have a black. But I just don't know. But the darkest shade at Ulta was this deep brown. Um, and basically, I was floored. I'm like, there's no way that this under $5 eyebrow pencil is changing the game. It's giving me all the brows that I want. And dare I say, it's comparable to the $20, $25 high-end eyebrow pencils. Like, it's, it's Anastasia Beverly Hills. But $4. And I was floored because I'm just like how many years I could have been buying this eyebrow pencil and had amazing eyebrows for so cheap and I didn't so I'm like this is my new go-to even in my makeup bag I put it I put it in my purse because I went somewhere with it and then I was just like I need to use it let me go through my purse because I can't use this other one I used the other one I honestly feel like I'm starting to have allergic reaction to the other one I put the other one on my face was itching I was like I need the ear left back it's my new favorite eyebrow pencil not to be over dramatic but this is that girl it's perfect um I'll do a quick little swatch um I don't know how helpful this is because it is eyebrow pencil but can you see let me draw it more intentionally okay so I did some little light strokes there so you can make it as light as you want if you want you can also go over it a lot and make it deeper but it's so easy whether you want to do little light strokes or you want to make it darker that is the color and it's so easy to use um, a lot of eyebrow pencil there's like a learning curve and you're trying to figure out how to do it so that way it looks natural but you still want that bold look and that color to be visible and this is just one of the easiest most simple straightforward cheap affordable quality eyebrow pencils ever and just for a point of reference so the eyebrow pencil that I traditionally use is the L'Oreal excuse me brow stylist shape and fill triangular tip mechanical pencil and I usually use the shade dark brunette so this is it so as you can see same same except it just has a triangular tip instead of a flat tip it's only a nublet left so it might be hard to see and then I'll draw some lines sorry there's like old eyebrow hair in there so this is the light lines I just did with the L'Oreal these are the ELF lines I will do a darker line for the L'Oreal just to make them comparable. Same, same. No difference. But you know what is different? The price. So when I first started getting these, these were $6.99, $7.99. I would say back in 2014, 15. All of a sudden... Last time I went to the drugstore, baby, this thing was like $11.99, $12.99. It rang up at Target, and I was shocked. And the lady's like, I know, right? Drugstore makeup's getting so expensive. I was like, you are right, ma'am. This is crazy. Price keeps going up and up and up for this, but this is literally the same exact thing, and it's $4. Looking at the swatches, if I didn't tell you which was which, you wouldn't know. That's the same exact thing, except $4.00. $9.99, $10.99, $11.99, $12.99. Now, I do know being in New York that drugstore makeup fluctuates a lot based on the community where you purchase it. So, if you purchase it in 
a major city populated area of New York City. So like um, Midtown, Penn Station, downtown Brooklyn, the price is going to be more expensive. Whereas if you buy it in like a neighborhood, it might come down a dollar or two, but it's still not coming down enough to be $4. Cheapest I've seen this for recently was $10.99, $9.99. Have not seen it for cheaper than that. This is $4. And it's at Target. Just like this one. Which is where I'm getting most of my makeup from. It's Target. When I get drugstore, when I get drugstore makeup, I get it from Target or I get it from Ulta. Those are the two places I go to get drugstore makeup. So the fact that this is same same but half the price, it's it's over for L'Oreal brow stylist. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, drop ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Drop ten dollars off the price. Come down to two ninety nine because you got to be cheaper than ELF at this point. But um, no, again, this is a really solid pencil. If you have a lot of skin area that you're covering and not hair, it sticks to the skin. Doesn't oxidize. Doesn't break down. It does wipe off more easily than the L'Oreal. But if you set your eyebrows with setting spray, makeup spray, it doesn't go anywhere. Um. But if you don't want to do setting spray, then you might have to stick with the L'Oreal if you just want to do brows and go. But um, like I said, this is cheaper. And I need to use the setting spray for the rest of my face anyway. So I might as well get the cheaper eyebrow pencil to offset the cost of having to buy the one size. Because that's the only setting spray that really works. Um, but this ELF brow pencil is everything. And it's only $4. So I'm actually going to do a little TV magic to come back. And tell you guys the real price and the color range because I want to get that right in this video. I'll be right back. Alright, YouTube magic. I'm back with the phone, not with the brow pencil. But you guys already know what I'm talking about because you watched enough of this video. So this is the ELF Instant Lip Brow Pencil. I lied. Looked up online. Guess how much it costs? $3 online. So I'm pretty sure that it is $4 maybe in major areas where it's like expensive, expensive prices. But then it's $3 everywhere else because um, I'm pretty sure I did pay $4 for it. Um, but yes, deep brown is the darkest color I have, but I noticed they have an auburn and they even have a blondie kind of shade, a shade called blonde for people with lighter brows. And I was like, they got everybody colored. They got red, they got dark, they got blonde. This is a great brow pencil and for four dollars shout out to elf i know that a lot of times elf gets the hype and the recognition for the dupe products and for the foundations and stuff but you know what we need brow pencils especially at three dollars so now that i know i'm about to start buying them online and have them ready in my stash because i can never be without a brow pencil baby so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video i hope it was helpful if you need a new brow pencil even if you don't really do brows but you just want to do a little something on your brows one time Get the ELF one because it's affordable and it works amazingly. All right. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Just like the street lights lit.